What's up everybody? So today I wanted to do this. I made a Google slideshow um, to try something different for the channel guys, but today I'm going to go over the St. Louis Cardinals 2022-2023 free agency, kind of talk about the offseason a little bit in this video. Um, I think free agency starts on Thursday at um, 4 p.m. Eastern, so free agency is going to be starting up here soon, so I just kind of want to go over the free agency for the Cardinals, you know. Um, talk about what their needs could be for the offseason. So I'm going to go through um, each position I think the Cardinals need to address. But I'm not saying the Cardinals will address it, but it's just some positions where I think the Cardinals could upgrade. And I think the Cardinals definitely are going to go after a certain position I'll get into in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and go through my I have it in position, so I'm going to go through what start off with the first thing. So let's go ahead and click enter. So first up, you got the catching options. So these guys are like the rumored to be Cardinals or, you know, linked to the Cardinals. You know, some are free agents, some are you got to trade for. So let's start off with um, the first guy on my list. It's not, this, this is not in any order, guys. This is what I just put him in. So there's no order of how much I want to each guy. So, um... First up, you guys, you got a guy like um, Sean Murphy from the A's. You're going to have to give up um, some good prospects. You're going to have to trade for him, obviously. So will the Cardinals do that? I'm not sure. Um, but I do heard the Cardinals are really interested in him. Um, Contreras, he's a free agent. Today he declined a qualifying offer from the Cubs, making him a free agent. So if the Cardinals want Contreras, they don't have to trade anything for him. They just got to sign him. Um, but he ain't going to come cheap. He's going to want some good money. Um, it's just undetermined if the Cardinals are willing to give what Contreras wants. Um, Alejandro Kirk from the Blue Jays. You know, the Blue Jays are pretty stacked at catcher. That's why I have two catchers from the Blue Jays on here. Um, Alejandro Kirk right here. Um, he's been rumored to be traded. So, And I just put him on here because the Cardinals could go after him. We'll see. Um... Next guy you got um Christian Vasquez. The car I heard really the Cardinals are really interested in Christian Vasquez. I heard they're gonna probably meet with him, meet with his agents or something like that before Thursday. I heard. So watch out for Christian Vasquez. He could be a guy the Cardinals sign. He's a free agent, so the Cardinals could just sign him. Um, the next guy, obviously, Danny Jansen. He's an he's another Blue Jays catcher. Um, we'll see. I I put two Blue Jay catchers on here because. The Blue Jays are expected to trade one of their catchers, so I think it's going to be between Kirk and Jansen here. Um, I believe they have a rookie um, in the in the minors down there in Blue Jays, um, so I think they might want to give him some time. So they might trade one of their catchers, um, Kirk or Jansen. So we'll see what the Cardinals do. John Mozeliak made it clear the the team is really going to go after a catcher. Um, I heard a report today that this is. Um, their number one priority in free agency so far. Like, this is what they're going to be focusing a lot on is catching because you do need to get a replacement after Yadier Molina retirement. Um, so these are guys that I would go after. Some guys, um, yeah, I do not want uh, Tucker Barnhart. Fuck that shit. Do not want him. So the Cardinals signed Tucker Barnhart. I'm going to make a fucking rant video. So just to let you guys know. But yeah, these are guys that I would go after for catching. Plenty of options here for the Cardinals. You got Sean Murphy, Wilson Contreras, Alejandro Kirk, Christian Vasquez, Danny Jansen. Some solid names here. So it is going to be interesting what the Cardinals do at catching. They need to get a catcher, and hopefully it's one of these guys. So, all right, now we're moving on to the next position. Shortstop options. I'm not saying the Cardinals are going to get a shortstop. No, I don't. I, to be honest with you guys, I don't think the Cardinals are. I don't think the Cardinals are going to get a shortstop. Um... I just made it just because why not because you know I'm trying to bring some entertainment to you guys shortstop options this is a very stacked um, free agency class um yeah last year the Cardinals passed on one of the best shortstop classes of all time in free agency this year it's another good free agency class for the shortstop you have Carlos Correa Trey Turner Dansby Swanson Zandy Xander Bogarts um you got Diaz former he's actually a former Cardinal right here Atlantis Diaz, he used to be in the Cardinals. Now he's a free agent who went to the Astros. And then you got um, Jose Iglesias right here. I'm sorry, it's not an Angels pitcher. I couldn't find an Angels pitcher. So I had to find him in the Rockies. 
The only reason I put these guys in the bottom, because I could just see the Cardinals signing one of these guys. I just have a feeling. I don't know. Really, all of us Cardinal fans want the Cardinals to sign the top four guys. You know, we got Correa, you got Turner, you got Swanson, you got Bogarts. Those four are what Cardinal fans want. In reality, we'll get a guy like Jose Iglesias or Alentes Diaz returning to Cardinals, I feel like. Um, I just don't think the Cardinals are going to be going after a shortstop heavy. I mean, I just don't think so. Um, they believe in Tommy Edmond at shortstop. I think they... I think Tommy Edmonds is going to be the shortstop next year. Maybe you put Brendan Donovan or Nolan Gorman at second base. We'll see, man. But And they also have a big belief in Mason Wynn. He is their one of their best um, prospects at shortstop, Mason Wynn. So I feel like the Cardinals are not going to go after a shortstop, sadly. Um, if they do, it might be a guy like freaking Jose Iglesias, unfortunately. So I would love to get one of the top four guys, like I said, but... I just don't see the Cardinals getting a top shortstop. I just don't see it happening. But a man can dream, right? So I hope they I hope they get one of the top shortstops, but I just don't see it happening, unfortunately. So other than that, I'm let's move on to the next position. So I put outfield as an option because the Cardinals could use use another outfielder. And there are some solid names on here I put. These are like the big ones I put on here. I didn't want to put on some jobbers or some shit. You got Brandon Nemo from the Mets. You got Jock Peterson. You got um, Andrew Benatendi, Michael Brantley. And I, I put fucking Aaron Judge on here. I'm being funny, guys. I'm being funny. No way in hell Aaron Judge will be a Cardinal. I just put him on here to be funny. Um, no way he's going to be an option for the Cardinals. Realistically, maybe they get like a guy like Nemo or Jock Peterson or the other four guys are more realistic, obviously. So... I would like to see the Cardinals add an outfielder. I feel like with the Cardinals need an outfielder. Tyler O'Neill is injury prone. Dylan Carlson had a bad year last year. And Newt Bar, he's solid, but you gotta you can improve off Newt Bar. So I feel like the Cardinals gotta add an outfielder. I in my opinion. I would add an outfielder. Um Brandon Nemo, Jock Peterson, Ben Intendi, or Brantley. One of those guys would be good. Obviously, I know the Cardinals are not getting Aaron Judge. I just put him on here just to be funny. So, yeah, that's an op that's a position I think the Cardinals could upgrade at out in the um the outfield. So we'll see what the Cardinals do. So let's move on to the next position. All right, I put some I put a couple of DH options on here. Um, I don't think the Cardinals are gonna get a DH. Maybe they do. I'm not sure. Maybe they have on one Yepes be the DH next year, but I just put a couple DH options on here. If the Cardinals want to go after a DH, I, I it could be a position they go after. Um, obviously, you see JD Martinez on here, Nelson Cruz, Andrew McCutcheon, a couple DH options on here. Obviously, these guys are pretty old; they're veterans. Obviously, um, I think Martinez is thirty five. Nelson Cruz is like fucking forty two. McCutcheon's pretty old too. So these are some older options for DH if you want to. Um, if not, I'm I'm okay if the Cardinals don't get a DH. I'm I'm okay with Juan Yepes being a DH next year. I just put it on here, just why not? So I just put a couple DH options on here for the Cardinals. Um, so yeah, moving on to the next position. Some starting pitchers the Cardinals I could maybe go after. Realistically, I I put a couple on here that are, are probably not going to happen. Um, you got Jacob DeGrom, Carlos Rondon, Clayton Kershaw, Justin Verlander, Nathan Avoli from the Red Sox. That's an option maybe for the Cardinals, Nathan Avoli. Um, and I put a trade option on here, Pablo Lopez right here from the Marlins. I, I could see maybe the Cardinals doing a trade for a pitcher. I've heard the Cardinals are more likely to trade for a starting pitcher than sign a free agent. Um, so I just put Pablo Lopez on here. Maybe he could be an option for the Cardinals. I was just trying to think of some cat, um, some pitchers that could be moved. I just couldn't think of any. I thought of Pablo Lopez maybe, but I don't. I don't think the Marlins are going to want to trade him. They'll probably keep him. But look at the free agency for the pitchers, starting pitchers. Like it ain't very good. Like outside of the top guys, like you know, like I'm on here, like Degrom, Rondon, Clerk, Kershaw, and Verlander. I would go after Carlos Rondon. I would go after him. The Cardinals need an ace, in my opinion. The Cardinals rotation is filled with got filled with guys of like two or threes. They need a true ace. Um the only ace 
on the roster is really Jack Flaherty, but you cannot really rely on him because the guy gets hurt 24-7. So I feel like you got to go out and get a guy like Carlos Rondon. He would be my guy to go after Carlos Rondon. Go after him. He is a very damn good pitcher. He could be your ace for this Cardinals team. So I definitely think the Cardinals should go after a guy like Carlos Rondon on this list. Um, next up, I think this is the last slide. Hang on. Yep, it is. It's the bullpen. Um, bullpen options for the Cardinals. They can go after. Um, Andrew Chafin right here. I would go after maybe. He could be a good veteran in that um, bullpen. Um, I put Craig Kimbrell on here. I don't think that, I don't I don't want Craig Kimbrell personally. Um, I put Janley Danley Jansen, Kenley Jansen. What the hell am I saying? Kenley Jansen on here. Um, a role this Chapman no. Um, Corey Cannell, I wouldn't mind. And then Tanlone from the Yankees, I wouldn't mind to be honest with you. Um, if I had to pick between these guys, I would choose Chafin or Corey Knable. Well, I'd probably pick um, Chafin or Knable on the, out, of this, out of these guys. A couple bullpen arms the Cardinals can go after. Um, but yeah, I think this is it for my slides. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just tried doing something different. So I just wanted to go over some options for the Cardinals this free agency. Um, hopefully the Cardinals don't disappoint us, man. Hopefully they go out and spend some money, make a couple trades. that This team needs to improve. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to go over some free agents the Cardinals could go after. And, you know, I, I just listed some options, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. It helps me out so much. And it helps me out leaving a like on the video. You know, one, leaving your one like helps out get the video shared out to many other baseball fans. So thank you guys for watching as always guys. Hope you guys have a good night. Stay safe and God bless you. Peace. Have a good one guys. Peace.